one of the things about the V10 is we're limited on the vial size. Um, we looked at this card earlier and you can use up to a 30 mil vial. And you can all go all the way down to a 4 mil vial. Um, but we're going to use this 20 mil vial again. Suppose you have more than 8 mils of solvent or 8 mils of reaction products to, to dry down. What do you do? Well, one of the options is this device right here, which is our solvent manager device. And it's a pump with a bunch of valves and uh, that are controlled here by the, uh, within the, the V10 itself. So let's pretend for a moment that I've got a lot of reaction products to dry down. And what I'd like to do is dry all of this material into this vial. So to do that, I'm going to use the solvent manager. And when you have the solvent manager, you get this little extra sample tip I'm showing you here which has got a, a super tube and a fitting. And it connects right here on the front. We'll take the super tube and just drop it in there. And then over here on the software, um, what you want to do is not use pre-filled vials, but use an external flask. All right. And my total volume that I'm going to use, I could take all of that material right there, but I'm just going to take I'm going to take 15 mils. So I'm going to choose to take 15. And just, just to demonstrate that. Now, if I use 15 mils, I'm going to have to take 8 mils out of the flask with the soft, and then dry that down, and then take 8 mils more and do it again. So I'm going to take the vial that I have, place it there. I'm set at um, external flask, 15 mils. Right now it says remaining volume is 15 mils to go. I'll press evaporate. If you watch here, there's a number of things going on. If you see how the, the salt is coming up into this area. And if you come over to this side and zoom in on this tubing, you can see that it's drawing the contents of my reaction flask into this tube here. Here you can see it coming around. There's air bubbles in the line, that's normal. We actually want some air bubbles in there because it helps to clean the line as it's, um, as it's running. So right now it's filling that up and it's gonna draw about eight mils out of the vial here because that's how much can be delivered. So once that's, been, once that's full and uh, the vial is already up here and connected and spinning. The vial is actually spinning right now and the 8 mils is being added to the vial and it's being spun to the side um, as it goes. It's delivered that first aliquot. If you look here, it's quite orange. And it's starting to run the, the vacuum pump is starting to um, evaporate the material that's inside there. Now, meanwhile, the, the solvent manager is going to start loading up the next sample here in just a minute. While the first aliquot is running, it's going to start getting ready for the second aliquot. You can see that the coil is already loading up the next sample. This is not being delivered into the vial. This is just getting the next amount ready to go. If you recall, the vial can only take eight mils at a time, but I told this to deliver 15 mils. So eight is the first injection, seven will be the second injection. We're halfway through now. It's dried down the first eight mils. And if you look over here at our tube again, you can see it pretty easily. But you can see that it's pumping um, our sample now through the tubing and down into the vial. So we dried down the first aliquot, and now we're adding our second aliquot, and it's drying uh, that too. If you, if you watch long enough and you're standing here, you can actually see it get a little bit darker as we're adding more material to the um, to the vial to start drying it down as well. Now we're injecting wash solvent, and what we're doing is we're, the lines are being cleaned. It's, it's just simply injecting our carrier solvent that we've got back here, our system solvent, and it's injecting a little bit more to clean the lines and make sure everything that we wanted injected did make it up in there. Okay, so we're on our drying step, and you can see we have 46 seconds left to go. Uh, the remaining volume is recorded here, when you're using the solvent manager with the super tube like we have been just now, um, this tells you how much is going to be removed, has yet to be removed from the, um, from the, the, the main vessel.
vessel here. So right now that's down to zero, so we've added everything we're going to add. We have 23 more seconds before we're done. And um, let's just see what happens. So just a lot more reactive material is stuck to the side of the vessel there. That, and then we've still got a little bit left in the vial here, uh, this tube. So when you run this, when you do it this way, you want to make sure that the volume in the, vi in the vessel is less than the, than the volume you program in. So you want this to pull this out to dryness and then pull this so, uh, so that it's empty in the vial and it pulls this um, remaining solution out of the tubing and up into the pump.